Welcome to episode nine eighty seven and through ten. Eight lessons. This is an outline of episode nine eighty seven. Lesson one to four. This is lesson five to eight. Lesson one. He was immigrant twice. First from China to Hong Kong, and then from Hong Kong to the Philippines. He was born in Fujian Province, China, in nineteen fifty two. From age four to sixteen, he lived in a tenement in Hong Kong. His father was a transistor radio salesman. He immigrated to the Philippines when he was sixteen, and two, where he learned business from Leonardo Tai. First job was working for Taipan Leonardo Tai of Hitachi Union. <music> This is what Andrew Tan says. He was always smiling and good to people, which was another aspect of his personality that I learned from. Since three, the 1998 financial crisis, he said he earned several college degree from debt. Definitely had its fair share of ups and downs, and we've gone through a lot of you know different、uh, situations, like for example financial crisis and. Even when we were very, very young,、uh, as the revolution, for example,、uh, says experiencing the big problem taught me more than earning many degrees. Lesson four: blame ourselves, not others. It is his reasoning. It is important to blame myself and not others. It is hard to blame ourselves, and it is very convenient to blame others. But there shall be no change if we don't face the truth. Lesson five: He's the brandy king of the world. In 1979, he entered the distillery business. With only hard work and marketing savvy, he dared to challenge older, more established liquor brands. In 1991, he created a totally new category in the spirits market: brandy. Under Emperador Distillers Incorporated. Mr. Tan pitched his Emperador brandy as the drink for successful people. In 2006, Emperador was recognized as the world's largest selling brandy by volume. Lesson six: His vision is to give customers the very best value. My vision is to give customers the very best value for their real estate investment. We at Mega World do this by offering them. Better lives in the communities we create. Lesson seven: Be ready for disappointment. Is his advice? Do not expect everything to turn out the way you want it to be. Be ready for disappointments. You should have extra bullets left to help you fight another battle. Lesson eight: He is the condominium king of the Philippines. Many consider him the undisputed number one condominium developer in the Philippines. Today, Mega World is the number one developer of residential condominiums and business process outsourcing offices. As a pioneering developer of townships, Mega World has popularized the live, work, play, learn concept, best exemplified by Eastwood City. The community cyber park is the birthplace of BPO in the Philippines. Following the tremendous success of Eastwood City, Mega World has embarked on the development of other. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.